Bitcoin is at the breaking point after a hard rejection from $25,000 two days ago. We are now failing for the second time to flip this very important diagonal resistance back into support. As you can see on the hour, we have come down quite a significant amount from the retest of that trend line. And people are wondering, is this it for Bitcoin? Are we going to see a big drop from here or is there a chance we could actually see a higher high put in? I think the charts are going to surprise you. So make sure to stick around. Make sure to like the video. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. Make sure to click that bell for notifications because we are bringing you the most timely and the most accurate Bitcoin updates here on YouTube. So let's get into the charts and let's talk about what is happening locally so that we can understand the context for what is going to be happening in the future. So first of all, Bitcoin did in fact come up to this very key zone of support, $25,000. The short setup that was given in the Casper Crew VIP Discord and we did get a pretty intense rejection from their printing on market cipher B, what I like to call the bearish upside down Sam Bankman freed man boot pattern, because as we can see, the money flow and the momentum waves are getting lower as the price is getting higher into key resistance, strangely resembling the chest of Sam Bankman freed over here with the left man boob that was out in the Bahamian sun, getting a growth from all the radiation while the right side was under the shade of a palm tree. The money flow and the momentum is getting lower as the Bitcoin price continues to get higher, and that has given us a big move to the downside but what is happening right now is actually very very important because for the past few weeks bitcoin has been trading within this range and we've been trading within what is known as a fair value area a fair value area is basically defined by this volume profile right here where the candles are shaded blue and purple this is basically showing us where has the market valued bitcoin as fair priced for the past two weeks, right? This is where we can understand what is objectively low and what is objectively high. W when are we buying Bitcoin at a discount? When are we selling Bitcoin when it's at a premium? It's defined by this zone right here, right? The market's always going to try and find equilibrium. And when we get a break to the upside or to the downside, the market will then try to discover, or at least the market participants will then create a new fair value zone. Now, the two bad things about this rejection right now is that twice we have not only failed to come back above this trend line, but we have also failed to come back inside this fair value zone. So does this mean that we are going to be dumping down a lot more from here? Well, as I always say, guys, it really does depend. We cannot know what the price is going to do in the future, but we can have multiple plans and scenarios so that no matter what happens, we can be prepared for the movement of Bitcoin. For example, when we came up to here, we were absolutely prepared to take that short trade because we had the plan in advance, just like we had the plan to long 21400 in the Casper Crew VIP Discord. And by the way, if you want to join the Casper Crew VIP Discord, you can go to patreon.com forward slash Jason Casper. It's not a signals group. It's an education group. We do three live streams a day walking through this live price action, as well as posting our trading ideas and the levels that we are looking at. Also, if you want to take advantage of this volatility by trading on Bybit with 0% limit fees check out the link in the description in the pinned comment zero percent limit fees these will cut into your profits and this is actually a great deal for people who know how to trade also if you deposit 100 dollars, you get a month free of our crypto fusion trading bot for more information on that check out jasoncaspertrading.com where you can get 20 percent discount on all our educational courses if you use the coupon code juicy discount and click the link jason casper uh, trading bot for more information on uh, the trading bot okay so what is going to happen right now is very very key there are three levels of support to the downside that if Bitcoin holds, I do believe is very possible based on some things in the chart that we can see another higher high. The first level is obviously going to be right where we're at right now, kind of losing this zone at the Fibonacci golden pocket retracement locally, right? Because there is a chance that we have our low, we put in our high, we put in our higher low, and then we put in our higher high. The second is going to be this zone right here, the 23.5K zone. Why is this so important? Because when we are looking at a sideways range, we always want to be looking for longs at the low of the range and shorts at the high of the range. And we can see here that literally from the time we put in this low, we could have gotten another long trade from here. Yesterday, actually, I did take that long trade and I closed it out at 24,600 which is pretty much right where we topped out. Yeah, literally right where we topped out. Wow, would you look at that? And um, and so if we're going to be coming back down to this area, we need to be looking for support. And if we do look at our oscillator right now, we can see there is a very real potential that as we come down here, we are going to see what's known as a bullish divergence where the oscillator is giving us a deep left momentum wave and a shallow right momentum wave, strangely resembling this set of uneven butt cheeks, right? The uneven butt cheek pattern. So that is one area that we really do need to be aware of. The second area that we absolutely need to be aware of right now is going to be that area at around 23,000 
thousand dollars. This for me is the last hope of putting in a higher high. If we take our Fibonacci from the low that we put in at twenty one point four to the high, you can see that the golden pocket is coming in right around twenty two point nine. And also, if we take a look at all the price action that's traded here, we can see that it's also the high volume node of the range right there. So those are going to be the major levels of support that I am personally looking at to hold. And here's something that we need to understand. We have come up to the 200 week moving average and we have rejected. And in my opinion, uh, it's it seems to be too easy of a short, right? Everybody's been looking at this 200 week moving average for a long time now saying, look, once we get there, we're going to reject, we're going to reject, we have a weekly death cross. 200 week moving average is something that people use in traditional markets to basically take trades, right? Uh, so it seems too easy of a short. And we know that we have major, major resistance just above us, which is the Fibonacci golden pocket retracement, basically from the high that we put in in May to the low that we put in back in November. And if we take a look at just historically what has happened when we get a relief rally in the middle of a bear market, if we kind of zoom into a higher term time frame right here, we can see that many times we put in a double top, right? We, we saw this happen back in 2015 where we put in a double top before basically giving back all our gains during that bear market relief rally. And so it's very possible that we see something like this happen now. However, because we still have very key resistance above us, which is this Fibonacci golden pocket, I do think there's a chance that we get a fake out to the downside and print what I call the August pattern. What is the August pattern? The August pattern is something that we did back in August, and it's basically where we put in a triple top, faking everybody out three times before finally getting the big move to the downside. So let's go back to August and kind of take a look at this pattern that's potentially playing out again. Okay, we're going to go ahead and turn off our 200 week moving average right here. And we are going to take a look at what happened back in August when we poked our head above key resistance a few times here, right? Before the actual drop, right? Look at this. We were trading in the sideways range, the fair value zone. We came up to the high of that fair value zone and we poked our head out three times before we finally got the drop. All the while, we were printing the bearish Sam Bankman Freed man boob pattern. And we know that we are absolutely coming up to this level once again, uh, this uh, Fibonacci golden pocket. So is it possible that we get something like this? I do think it is possible, guys, and I think it hinges upon what happens right now with the stock market. Because if we take a look at the S&P 500 right now, we are bouncing from a very, very key zone of support. This is the S&P 500 going all the way back to January 2022. And you can see right now that we are bouncing from the retest of this very important resistance trend line that we had since January 2022. We are now flipping it as support. And so I do believe when New York opens today and the S&P SPX chart starts trading again, right? SPX, the SPX chart closed right at this trend line. This is the futures market. The futures market is actually getting a bounce. So people are thinking it's going to bounce. But if this SPX chart opens bullish today and we actually do bounce from this key zone of support, then I do believe Bitcoin will follow because Bitcoin and the stock market, the S&P 500 are very much so correlated, right? I look at the SPX as a leading indicator for Bitcoin. And so I think there's a very real chance that if this thing opens bullish in a few hours, we very well may see one last surprise pump for Bitcoin. Okay. So we're going to zoom back in right now, just to recap on these major, major zones of support and resistance that we have to be looking out for right now. First of all, we know that the $23,500 level is going to be a major zone to be looking for support. And then we know that that $22,900 level right around here is the Fibonacci golden pocket, also a very key zone to be looking for support. And we have to understand that as long as we don't take out the low that we put in at 21.4, that long setup that I'm currently still in right now as a swing trade, as long as we don't lose that low, we are still technically in bullish market structure, having not put in a lower low on a very high term time frame, right? High, higher low, higher high, as long as we don't take out this, there still is a chance for more upside. Now, we have to be prepared, like I said before, for all scenarios. We understand that we are at key resistance. We understand we are rejecting from the 200-week moving average. And so for that reason, I am looking for a big move to the downside. And the short trade I am currently in right now, if we don't take out the high, I am going to be looking for a move back down quite, quite low from here because there's a real chance that this could turn into a very big swing trade.
Okay, so although there's a chance we could get that other high to fake everybody out who shorted the 200 week moving average, grab the liquidity before a big pump to the downside, we have to be aware that our top very well could be in. So if the top is in, here's what we need to see. We need to see bearish market structure begin to officially form here. So we need to take the local low, put in a lower high and then take out this low. Once we do that, then we can be looking to add to or enter swing shorts on a bearish retest right? And so if we do start to get a drop down from here, where are the major zones of support that we need to be aware of? I think it's very, very simple. And I think that um, right here, let's go to a higher term time frame. Let's go to the daily time frame and take a look at what we are going to be looking at if we get a big rejection from here. Now, again, in the long term, this is not going to be fun if we get a big drop, uh, but it is going to be bullish for Bitcoin. So let's check out the key zones that we have um, let's see right here. Okay. So what we are looking at is basically, we're going to be looking at a very large range that we are trading right now, as we're currently getting some resistance at this resistance, the major levels that we're going to be looking at to the downside, if we get a big drop, in my opinion, are going to be these two Fibonacci levels, the 618 at 19200, and then the 786 around 17400. And worst case scenario is we put in a lower low. All three of these scenarios in the long term are going to be bullish for Bitcoin based upon where we are right now in the market cycle, one year approximately before the halving. This is where we grind it out. This is where we range for about a year or so before the bull market. And these are the times to actually be accumulating Bitcoin on spot. So for as a trader, I don't care what happens because we can long and short this volatility. As a hodler, somebody who's looking to take advantage of the volatility in the next bull market, if we do get another move down, I still have a lot of dry powder on the side looking to accumulate on the way down. So I look at this, no matter what happens, as a, an amazing opportunity, okay? Now, there is still also a chance that we break out of the 200-week moving average. We know if we break that level and hold and flip this key resistance at 25k as support we are going to see a move to the upside that is going to catch a lot of people off guard it's going to be higher than you expect it to be just like a rejection from this level is going to take us down probably lower than uh we expect but that is it for today's video guys make sure to like the video make sure to subscribe to the channel make sure to click that bell for notifications because we are bringing you the most timely and the most accurate bitcoin updates here on youtube may god bless you all and i'll see you in the next video peace